Hey, I'm Angie. I'm Rhonda. And we are Adventures in Nomadus. We are full-time in our Escape 21 travel trailer, and we've done some mods. We did a mod video a few months ago, and we've had some requests to show you our bed lift kit and how we did that. So stick with us, and we'll be right back. Hey, thanks to you that have been curious about how we install, installed our bed lift kit. So we had some hydraulic struts that we got as a kit and let me go show you how we did that. But this is gonna be a little bit of a time travel. So four months ago when we installed the bed lift kit, um, I, we filmed some of it and then we went back and modified it and then didn't film it. So uh, due to your request, we're gonna be kind of going back and forth a little bit. Hey, what are you doing? I've got the bed lifted up so now you can get inside and if i don't get tired you'll be able to get out yeah well this is kind of a pain so we're going to install a bed lift kit a hydraulic uh, kit basically to be able to do this without us having to do this so what we did was we purchased a bed lift kit uh, i've ordered these online this will be the second one i've installed i did install one in a, a much smaller tag there seems to be always a little bit of tweaking you have to do uh, especially with this one right here because you do have to measure from the front to the back in order to put the struts on. Uh, however, ours is a weird shape, so it doesn't quite add up to the measurements and the directions, of course. That's how a lot of things happen. So the first thing I did is I have opened up the, the bed lift kit and laid out all the pieces to make sure I have everything. And then we will try and figure out how this is best gonna work with this odd shape that we have. So if you wanna know what tools I use, my handy dandy Dewalt 18 volt, which might be a little overkill, but it really gets the job done. With a number two screw bit, I did actually use a flat tip screwdriver. Uh, this is for getting those clips off of the struts. And a Phillips screwdriver, a, a three, three sixteenths drill bit, and a three eighths quarter drive socket. Bed types on here, I'm gonna actually use the small compartment bed that is right there. The reason being is we're just doing a, a, like a quarter of the bed and that's a size kit I bought anyway. The sizes are a little bit off as far as the measurements and we'll play around with this to, to make sure that works. So I'm going to screw this bracket in. I'm just gonna put part of the screws in. Don't need to add holes if I have to move this over. All right, so I got three out of the five in there and we'll move on to the next step. So the next step is to temporarily attach with two screws the bracket that's gonna go on the bed to one of the provided blocks. All right, I'm not just going to temporarily install this on here and attach both ends. So I did end up moving that bracket back two inches and that made a huge difference. So basically I went from the original 14 inches from there to there and it was too much of an angle. It was almost at a 80 to 90 degree angle and it should be 60 to 70 degrees. So I moved it back two inches and again that made a huge difference. This goes down a lot easier and it'll stay down a lot easier too with the bed. And it's just about the right angle that it's supposed to be there. So now that it looks like I've got the angle right and I actually have less torque on that other hinge there because I've reduced the angle here. Next step is to take this all back off again and then we'll remove this. It's going to take some wood glue on the back and some through bolts here to really secure this to the, blood, the, the bed platform. We'll add the rest of the screws here plus the rest of the screws there.
All right, so there was a lot of trial and error with this, so we did have to go back and make some modifications to what we first did. But here is kind of it all as a summary. We use the small size bed lift kit. They're, they do make uh, different sizes, extra small, and I think a large, I'm not sure about a medium, but it really kind of goes by how much weight you're lifting up, whether it's a queen size bed and then how much of that bed. But the instructions aren't gonna help you with this sort of weird cutout, half bed cutout, because a lot of it's for the whole bed or just sort of the partial bed. Uh, really, I think the, the main thing to be aware of is the angle and how much weight you have on your bed. We went with the small, because even though this is a double bed with a partial cutout, we have about a two inch foam topper on it, uh, plus a little bit of a bamboo um, cover over that. So there's a kind of significant amount of weight here that I don't think the extra small kit would really, it would work, but I think you'd have to use a little bit more force to get that up. So uh, in a nutshell, we went after some huge trial and error, after some big trial and error, these are the final measurements that we came up with, and I will include those in the uh, description below. So from the back edge here to the middle, that is about uh, six inches, would be about perfect there. And then same thing there. So initially we were hoping to get away with just installing one strut, but it just puts too much of a twist in here. We did have to install the second one and we really had to do some trial and error and tweaking and stuff to get that to work because with the way this is, there's just not a good way to install that bracket right here. So what I ended up doing is cutting out a two by four, this length here and ours is 16 and a half inches and basically cutting out of the lip here for this bracket to fit on. Uh, you may ask, well, well, couldn't you just put a bracket, you know, here, a small two by four bracketed. There's just too much force on here. And without having this two by four go all the way down to the floor, it was just a little bit too much uh, twist on that bracket. So that's why we ended up going with a full length two by four there in order to you know take the brunt of all that force on here in order to get this two by four really secure on here there is the uh, one by two that goes this direction straight down and i did drill a couple holes through the two by four straight through that and then uh, got some through bolts through that and then a couple of brackets down on the floor and that makes that two by four really super secure in there for attaching the bracket and that lift kit there so also um, i think a really big thing to keep in mind is to keep these as as even as possible i think this one's just slightly off from this one so i just twist this a little bit um, not enough that's that's really bad, but of course the, so much of the bed weight is coming off that too, that that's kind of part of it. Uh, does come, the kit comes with these two brackets down here, the two struts, uh, these two brackets, and then the uh, blocks there. And again, I think the, the biggest thing to remember is the actual angle that you want. You don't want it too straight up. And so for your particular situation, uh, you may want to, you know, just sort of uh, put a couple of screws in here um, just to see if you think that's going to work. And then um, it's kind of hard to do that over here. You might just have to cut out a bigger, a bigger section, like from here to, to back here, maybe just so you can kind of play with exactly what's going to work for you. Um, if, if you got that still, you know, too, uh, too much, um, like or not enough of an angle and uh, then it's going to be hard to get back down and then not enough of an angle it's uh it's kind of tough either way so after definitely a bunch of trial and error we got it in just the right spot and it's super easy to lift up and then pushing it down you know you want to make sure that it's going to stay down on its own and not want to pop back up again so that is also you know kind of that tweaky thing that uh, each person is going to have to to play around with and then um, once you have this bracket here and this this thread installed then you can kind of play with the angle here and then attach this 
to the right angle. So you can tell we give, uh, took all of our stuff out of here right now, but there's so much storage in here that we can literally just put all of our stuff in here and it's so easy to access. So this is probably the most useful mod that we've actually done because it's something that we use at least every couple of days and it makes it super easy. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and uh, uh, let us know in the comments below if you have any other questions about this lift kit. I'll put a bunch of information to and the link to the lift kit you can get on Amazon. I'll put that down below and uh, the dimensions and the tools we used and blah 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 and all that good stuff. Okie dokie. I barely fit. Right on.